In this video, you'll learn how to create and use segments in Beehive. Segments are a powerful tool for understanding subscriber engagement as it allows you to organize your audience based on attributes and activity. For example, you can create a segment of subscribers from a specific source like Instagram, subscribers with specific custom fields and subscriber tags, and more. In this video, we'll be covering how to create a segment, what the different segment types are, what segment conditions are, examples of what type of segments you can make, how to view the engagement of a specific segment, how to manually enroll a segment of subscribers into an automation, how to apply subscriber tags in bulk to a segment, how to send emails to specific segments separately from the rest of your list, and how to export a list of subscribers from a segment. Let's get straight into it. First, to get started, log into your Beehive account and go to Audience and Segments, and then click on Create Segment. Here you'll be prompted to give your segment a name, description, and choose a segment type. Here you can select from a static, dynamic, or manual segment type. Selecting static creates a segmented group of subscribers based on specific conditions. But this segment will not automatically update after you create it. This means if new subscribers fit the segment conditions or requirements after you create the segment, they won't be added to this segment. On the other hand, the dynamic segment type will create a segment that automatically updates daily. This segment type will reflect any changes in subscriber activity or attributes over time. This includes adding new subscribers who meet the segment conditions and removing ones that no longer meet them. Then there's the manual segment type, which allows you to upload a list of subscribers. This can be a list of subscribers you previously exported or collected from somewhere else. Note that this segment also does not update automatically. This segment is only based on the specific list of subscribers you choose to import and does not change over time. If you choose the segment type, click on add subscribers and here you can import a CSV file or copy and paste a list of emails. Please note that all subscribers being imported for your segment must have knowingly consented and opted into your newsletter. Otherwise, you're at risk of violating our terms of use and privacy policy. If you select static or dynamic, click on define conditions and here you'll have to define conditions or essentially requirements for what subscribers will be in the segment. This can look like defining a condition for subscribers who came from Instagram or have an open rate higher than 50% or a condition for inactive subscribers. You can define these conditions with practically any piece of data, including, but not limited to, acquisition sources, subscriber tags, subscription tier, sign up date, custom fields, and location. In fact, it can even be as specific as subscribers who open or click on a specific email. Simply click on condition to choose any type of data you want to make your segment condition. Here I'll select engagement under subscriber data and now I'll fill out the rest of the condition by clicking on the drop down menu. Here I'll select open rate is greater than 50%. If you hover over the right side of the condition, you can easily duplicate or delete the condition as well. You can also add more than one condition. For example, if I want to limit the segment to subscribers with a greater than 50% open rate who are no longer subscribers or basically unsubscribed, I can add another condition for status and set it to is inactive. Now the segment will only include inactive subscribers or essentially people who unsubscribed who had over a 50% open rate. If you want, you can also take it a step further. If you click on the blue drop-down menu above the conditions, you can select at least one or none. Selecting at least one means that subscribers only have to meet any one of the conditions you listed to be in the segment. If you selected none, subscribers do not have to meet any of the conditions to be in the segment. By default, all is selected, which means that subscribers have to meet all the conditions you added to be in the segment. To take it even a step further, you can also create condition groups. This allows you to make even more complex segments. For example, here I can add a condition group that will house the location conditions. Here I'll add a location condition for subscribers from the US and Canada. Now I'll change the condition group requirement to at least one. Now only subscribers with an open rate of over 50% and are from US or Canada will be added to this segment. Before you save your segment, it's important to note that your segment will include inactive, pending, and active subscribers. This means the segment may include subscribers who haven't double opted into your publication yet, and even subscribers who have previously unsubscribed. If you wanna limit the segment to active subscribers only, simply click on filter by active subscribers.
Once you're done, hit save segment. From here, you'll be redirected to the segment overview page where you can see the engagement of the specific segment you created, including the open rate, click through rate, and more. To make any additional changes to the segment at any time, you can go back to the configure tab. If you'd like to export a list of subscribers from any segment you made, you can simply go to the overview tab of the segment and click on the drop down menu where it says quick export. You'll see an option for a quick export and an option for a full export. Depending on how fast you need the segment export, you can choose accordingly. If you'd like, you can also unsubscribe or delete a specific segment from your newsletter using this menu. This could be helpful if you're looking to remove inactive or unengaged subscribers. For example, you can do this by creating a segment of subscribers who signed up more than 60 days ago and have a 0% open rate. You can also do this automatically through an automation if you don't want to manually do this. If you want to learn how, we have a full tutorial on our YouTube channel detailing the entire setup process. If you want to reward highly engaged subscribers or subscribers with a specific number of referrals, you can gift an entire segment of subscribers a free premium subscription. To do this, simply click on Gift Premium in the segment drop down menu. And note, this will only work if you have paid subscriptions set up on your Beehive account. We have a full playlist of tutorials covering everything premium related on our YouTube channel. In the same drop down menu, you can also apply subscriber tags to the segment. You can tag subscribers based on various things such as acquisition sources, subscribers from specific posts, subscriber types, custom categories, and more. If you click on apply tags to subscribers, you can choose to apply any of your subscriber tags to the specific segment you're on. In this case, I'll add a tag for superfan since this segment is highly active. This tag will now be visible in a subscriber's profile and in the subscriber tab in Beehive. If you're interested in learning more about subscriber tags, we have a full length tutorial on how to use them and different ways to create them. The last option in this menu is add to automation, which allows you to manually enroll this specific segment into one of your automations. For example, since this automation is for my most active subscribers, I can enroll them into an automation with exclusive content or maybe offer an upsell to my premium subscription. Note that if you're going to do this, new subscribers who join the segment won't be automatically enrolled into it. You'll need to manually click on add to automations and select an automation every time you want to enroll subscribers from the segment. To learn more about potential use cases for automations, you can check out the automations playlist on our YouTube channel. In addition to manually adding segments to automations, you can also set up automations that are triggered by a specific action, like when someone enters or exits a segment. For example, I can set up an automation that emails a subscriber if their open rate drops below 50%, and I can also set up an automation that emails a subscriber an upsell once their open rate is 50% or higher. To set up an automation with a segment action trigger, go to Write in Automations and click on New Automation. Here, give your automation a name and description, and then click on Save Automation. Now, click on Add Trigger and Add Trigger again. An automation will only start or be triggered if this trigger goes off. In this example, this automation will only start once someone enters or exits a segment. From the drop down menu, look for segment action. Once you click on it, you'll have the option to choose enter the segment or exited a segment. Here I'll select enter the segment and choose the segment I created. Click on activate, then save when you're done. Now, if you click on the plus icon, you can choose to send an email, update a subscriber's status, and more after the trigger goes off. In this case, I can click on send email and send an email to new subscribers to my segment automatically through this automation. The last potential use case for segments is sending emails to specific segments. This can look like sending emails to segments of subscribers from a specific country with a specific engagement level, or even sending emails to segments of subscribers with specific interests. If you have a subscribe survey enabled that shows up upon sign up, you can collect valuable data from your subscribers that you can use in instances like this. If you want to learn how to set up a subscribe survey, you can check out the tutorial on our YouTube channel. To send an email to a specific segment, simply go to write in post and click on the post you want to send. Now go to the delivery tab on the right hand side and then click include a segment and choose your segment. 
Now you can uncheck all free subscribers and your email will only be sent to the segment. That's it for this video. If you enjoy tutorials like this, you can check out more on our YouTube channel.